Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. It seems to have been a controversy over the years. Uh, clicking a close button should close the application or the program, right? I mean, that's what's happened with Windows for so long. You press the X and everything's closed. It's done. It's, it's exited. There, there's no more app resident in memory or anything. Uh, but uh, Windows 8 doesn't work that way. It works a little more like Mac OS X has worked. And by clicking the close button in the actual window may not exit out of the application. It just closes the window. It just doesn't quit the application. For that, you would use another keyboard shortcut or go through the menu. Uh, this has got a few geeks kind of upset. I don't know why they're clinging to their close button as if it, you know, their life depended on it, but some people are really antsy about closing applications. Well, before you start getting freaked out, keep in mind, closing applications in Windows 8 is probably going to be different than you were used to with earlier versions of Windows. So, you know, I'm of the mindset that I, I actually don't mind quitting an application by using a keyboard shortcut, at least on Mac OS X, to know that it's quit, it's, it's out. And then just closing a window just by uh, clicking a button. You just kind of get used to a different nuance. It doesn't mean that one is necessarily better than the other inherently. I mean, it's, better is relative in this case. Uh, but there are many ways you can close the window or quit the application as you intended when you closed the window. Uh, in Windows 8. Uh, one way is the click and drag method as described in the article as linked below. Another way, and probably the more direct way, and probably not for the faint at, uh, of heart, uh, going through the task manager. Uh, and I believe the keyboard shortcut, if I remember correctly, control, escape, shift. So it's control, shift, escape, control, escape, shift. At the same time, boom. Uh, and you can pull up the task manager and then select a process and kill it from there, or close it out from there entirely, rather than just clicking the close button and then the app would stay in memory and it would actually just minimize somewhere you wouldn't see the, the Chrome, not Google Chrome and application, but the actual windowed interface, the UI of the, uh, of, of the application, uh, but it may still be running in the background. So keep that in mind. Windows 8 is going to manage applications, programs, apps, whatever you call them, um, utilities, tools going to manage it differently than you've been used to on Windows. Doesn't mean that uh, it's better or worse, it's just Windows is managing memory differently now than it used to. Uh, you know, what's what's better? Well, it just depends. Uh, is Windows becoming increasingly unstable the more applications you're running at the same time? Well, maybe they're just poorly written applications altogether. Maybe you should consider using different apps that uh, don't make your system unstable. I realize many of you don't have a choice. Uh, if only because you're uh, the OEM that you purchased the PC through threw a whole bunch of crap on it, or maybe you installed a whole bunch of crap, at which point, stop installing crap!